Hopefully, we'll find out in a few moments. First, though, heavyweights, the tail of the tape. Ajakba's 25 years old, Kaladze 33. Again, Ajakba, that's how you draw it up. 6'6", 237 plus. Kaladze at 230 plus pounds. Significant reach advantage for Ajakba. Ajakba, former soccer player, started boxing at the age of 17, but he has made great progress as a professional. Comes in 11-0, nine of his wins by knockout. Let's go to the ring. The semifinal underway in Jimmy Lennon Jr. Fans from the Toyota Arena here in Ontario, California, Premier Boxing Champions presents our co-main event of the evening, brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Judging at ringside for this bout, we have Tiffany Clinton, Max DeLuca, and Zachary Young. All right, fight fans, here we go. A heavyweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with gold trim. He is fighting out of Los Angeles by way of Sacachere, Georgia. He weighed in at 230 and one half pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, four losses and one draw, with 18 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the battle-ready, battle-tested heavyweight, introducing Iago Kelazzi. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round co-main event, wearing black trunks with red trim, fighting out of Stafford, Texas, by way of Ugeli, Nigeria. He weighed in at 237 and three-quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 11 wins, no losses, nine of his wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the 2016 Olympian, hard-hitting and undefeated pro known as the one and only, introducing F.A. Ajagba. And introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Thomas Taylor. Okay, belt line is good here, belt line is good here. Gentlemen, I'm giving you instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times and listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. Heavyweights ready to go. Zach. Time for a little Fox Bet action. Ajakba is a heavy favorite. You have to bet $5,000 on Ajakba to win 100. You bet $100 on Kaladze, it would get you $1,400. Again, the odds provided by Fox Bet. F.A. Ajakba and Yago Kaladze. Kaladze, again, 33 years old. And Ajakba Lennox. Lennox Lewis is here, former heavyweight champion of the world. We're especially interested in what you think of Ajakba. Again, a late start, but obviously, he is your size, the physique the total package seemingly so give us your quick scatter report on what you've seen oh i've watched him over the last 11 fights and uh, the improvement that he's made over, over the last 11 fights is incredible and uh, you know he's coming he's coming along well he throws a great job and you know he's got good defense and um you know, he's, he's definitely a heavyweight for the future. He's going to be something special. Smooth jab there to the body by Ajakba. He's had a few months off, had an October fight postponed because of a back injury. So that's the longest layoff of his career. It is his fourth fight of 2019. So he has been active. Joe, they try to keep him in the ring and get him the experience he needs. Yeah, and, and Ronnie Shields, uh, you know, the last fight we announced of uh, Jogba, he had a you know pretty rough fight and went the distance with uh, Demerzin, yeah. who was a former Olympian as well. Ooh, good right Hard hand. Right I hand. Heard him. Yep, Kaladze has heard already. Wobbled, trying to right the ship and fire back. Joe, let me just interrupt you. You've had Kaladze before. You've trained him before years back. What type of shot do you yeah, get here? A couple of years ago. Well, you know, he's been stopped quite a few times. Uh -huh. And, you know, he's in there with a guy who's probably the biggest puncher he's ever fought. You know, he's been stopped by Kovnatsky uh, and, and, and a few other people. But, uh, you know, this is the biggest puncher he's ever been with. But in all fairness, uh, uh, Iago Kaladze right now is probably the heaviest he's ever been, too. So he may be able to absorb it. It'll be a better. But, man, uh, a jog like a really, really crap. And with every right hand, you wonder if it's good night. Yeah. The way you, met the, you mentioned Michael Hunter was a guy he lost to two and Joe Joyce. So some of the top young heavyweights yeah. on the way up. And let's say, you know, the way how he's keeping his left hand, that's just open. He's inviting a right hand by a juggler uh, to, to get through. And, you know, 
he's only throwing about four right hands this round, but you know he's warming up the right hand, you could say. I tell you, Lennox too. It is. I mean, he's got a nice long jab, but that right hand is is tight, isn't it? It's yeah. a nice tight right hand. Yeah, he's got a great trainer, and Ronnie Shields, and Ronnie, you know, was a you know working tender himself, and, uh, really a, a good fighter and a great trainer, and. I, you know, look, it, it's a work in progress with the jock, but, you know, he, he's giving him a little bit more fluidity to his style. He wants a little bit more upper body movement so he can slip punches and use left uppercuts or hooks in the body. You know, so it's a work in progress, but uh, well, I, I see nothing but great things for uh, the future for the jock. And, you know, he's, his opponents have been, you know, quite different in appearance and stature, and he's, and he's adapted well. Uh, to, to the styles that were put in front of him and, and, and disposed of a lot of them. Without like, a doubt. Yeah, like Amir Mansour, who was a tough guy, but in his 40s at the time he fought the shot, but the shot took care of business. There's a nice right hand. So he's able to weather the storm here a little bit. Looked like he could get stopped. But he bounces back and able to make a decent account of himself here in round number one against the 11-0 F.A. Ajagba. We mentioned some of the tough competition. Kalad Must be yeah. reading my mind. See, he threw one jab there. This is the right hand. If he threw two, he'll be ha he'll get better glory out of that right hand and that punch. And when Lennox Lewis was the heavyweight champion, you were, uh, again, ushering in the new era of, as I mentioned, dreadnoughts. You know, the, the large, super heavyweights. But now, Ajagba at six foot six, uh, that, that's the size of the champs. Not even, uh, Tyson Fury would have a size advantage on him. Uh, Anthony Joshua is also 6'6", six, six, almost 6'7". Six, and obviously, Deontay Wilder, a full 6'7", with a long reach. So, this is what heavyweight looks like, Lennox. Yes, the, the future of heavyweights. Uh, uh, the next era, will they be bigger? You get bigger? Well, every era, every era so far, you know, heavyweights have been... Get, they're getting bigger. True. Floyd Patterson walked around 182, heavyweight champ. Joe Lewis, 200 pounds. Well, give Kalazi a little credit here. He's, he's landed a couple little shots. You know, he landed that counter shot in the first round. He landed a nice little short shot here in the second round. It's not having a lot of effect against the jog You know, the jog is just biting the time. But look, that was a nice left hook right hand. Showing some professional toughness, and he whacked him with that right hand. That caught a jog right on the uh, left cheek. Mm -hmm. See, See I, like, I like the fact that a jog stays stays disciplined. Yes. Looking at trade right now. Jock was staying in the pocket. Good point, Lennox, as he stays in. Looking to land a shot of his own. He's had to weather a few punches from Kalaze, the veteran. Body Shields yelling, hands up. You can hear that in the corner. Again, this is a guy who started boxing at the age of 17. That right hand. Right hand and good left hand before that. Well, right now the hands up the, the we're hearing is coming from uh, uh, Kalazi's corner from uh, Shabit oh, really? Saluki. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another right hand lands. Well, guess what? His hands are not up. Right. <laughs> He's not, not listening. But, uh, yeah, because his trainer could see that, you know, it's just seconds away from a knockout if he doesn't keep his hands up. Yeah, and Kalazi looks, looks a little right, winded, stop, stop, and no he's fun. showing it. Know, you know, that always... Burns on your, your opponent. Like if I seen a man tired in front of me, I'll be throwing a lot more punches and coming at you. And I mentioned that Jaffa was a soccer player. I mean, playing on competitive clubs as a teenager. But so the natural aptitude, That's and it. there it is. There's the right hand. I mean, Four, you could see it all night that five, this right hand was going to get six, through. It's just a matter of time. Seven, eight. Come here. Come here. You okay? You want to go? Yeah, Colasso sure. had a good half of a round, and, uh, you know, he kind of put his hand, like I said, he was a little wounded, and, and he kept his hands down, which it shouldn't be. And, now, and Kaladze finished the show. Shot bump moving in, Kaladze on shaky legs. You get the feeling it would only take one more shot. Measuring him, that for a right hand. Final seconds, though, of round two. Another right hand lands. Kalaze in bad shape, but he makes it to the end of the round. You see, I go. Throwing a good job connecting with the overhand right. But then everything changes. Boom. And it can all change with one punch. Everybody was looking for this right hand by a jog button. And there it is. It just took him one round to get warmed up for it. And it was in between the guard, too. 
and then you see a Jogba sensing that Aoga is hurt, trying to finish him, throwing some good uppercuts. This is what you're supposed to do, not throw just left rights, just, you know, uppercuts and left hooks as well. And there was in, there was drama there in the corner. There, the California Commission trying to follow the proper protocol. They wanted to get the physician in there to do some sort of concussion protocol to at least ask Kaladze, where are you from? How are you doing? They wanted to interrupt that because, as you guys mentioned, as he walked toward his corner and sat down, his corner wants to you stop, know, stop, stop. gain no him point. some extra seconds and get his head clear, but he did not look good. So he looked. It looked like it could be stopped. Referee Thomas Taylor, I believe, handled that correctly. He said, do you want to go? And we got the right answer. He said, you're ready to go. And now Kaladze looks a little better here, but he could be just inches away. Another right hand lands from Ajakba. Ajakba looking to end this with one shot. Lennox, should he be doing that? Or should he be trying to vary the attack? Well, you know, now the fact that he knows he can hurt him, I think he's just going after him and trying to take him out. But what, what he should be doing is really just setting him up, throwing some jabs, you know, throwing some jabs to the belly, mixing his punches up a bit before he throws that right hand. Kalaze in survival mode, fires back a right hand to the body. And a right hand to the head. Make it a stand. See, for Jogba, this is the time to work on different combinations that he's been practicing in the gym. Big jab by Ajakba at length. Again, looking for his 10th professional win. He's an unbeaten prospect on the way up. Main event still to come. Tony Harrison, Jamel Charlo. 154-pound title here in Ontario, California. This is heavyweight F.A. Ajakba from Nigeria. Again, already has one knockdown in this fight. Well, you got to give uh, uh, lots, of, lots of credit for number one taking that right hand, fighting back like he is after getting knocked down and, and hurt that bad. So, you know, I got to give the guy credit. He's trying and he's not giving up. Yeah, that right hand wobbled with Tucho. He managed to stay tough and stay on his feet. I mean, any, it seems a job, but anytime he touches you, a distance. He hurts you, and he's wobbled badly, and he's in bad shape. And now Ajakba moved back, but Thomas did not stop. He, I, I thought Thomas was going to stop that. Yeah, he's, he's in got bad no, shape. He, he's he, wobbling. He's got no legs under him, but he's, you know, the strength of his condition is keeping him. Oh, yeah, he's got Ajakba out of Whoa. nowhere. How about that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So, a crazy turn of events. Thomas Taylor opted to let Kaladze fight. We thought it should stop. And at that moment, Kalaje drops a Jogba. This is, this is what you have to be concerned about. When you're coming in there looking for one shot, you got to worry about the other guy as well. Keep your defense always intact. Joe, should that fight have been stopped? Well, obviously Well, obviously not. we know now, but, but at the time, but, did you think it should have been We said, know now. I would have said it should have been stopped. I would have said that too. So. I, well, I would have to agree with you on that one, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean... I was, I was wondering, where's Thomas Taylor? Stop. He was waiting for the, the stoppage, and there was no stoppage. So yeah. I guess that's on him. Yeah, if you look at his legs right now, his, his equilibrium is kind of messed up right now. And it looks like he's hurt, but he was able to... Yeah, he's still still in trouble here. Now he's going to... He, he, this is where he gets hurt. This is where yeah. the leg goes. And Jabba lets him off the hook. He thought he was going down. He walks well, away. He, no was fight, he was fighting going down, and he did a good job. No standing eight count. He, he even oh. said, come on. <laughs> did you see and that? Here, here he it goes. In. Now, here it is. Boom. Wow. That was just a quick counter off a, 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 a jog buzz right hand. Well, a fascinating round in what yeah. looked like a heavyweight round of the year. And to Thomas Taylor's credit, he stood back, right? No yeah. standing eight. and said, hey, fight's still on. Kaladze said, hey, come here, fight's still on. And then he drops the prospect. This is why I tell, and I, I talked to some of the referees earlier tonight. I told them they're the best group in town right now, the, the California Commission referees. So a wild round three. A wob of Kaladze. Heidi Andrews with Ronnie Shields. Heidi? Thank you very much, Brian. Ronnie, what did you say to F.A. coming into this round, considering what happened in the last? I told him to keep his hands up. I want him to throw the, when he throw the right hand, he got to bring it back to the left hook. The guy, the guy's hurt. This guy's hurt real bad, but he, he can't be left in what he's doing. He got to keep his hands up. I also told him head movement. Head movement, a lot of head movement. Thanks so much, Brian. Back to you. 
Alrighty, thank you. And Ajagba, again, there's a lot to process and digest here. Ajagba had Kaladze so hurt, Lennox, that he walked away to his corner to say, all right, let me let this guy fall. He could have stayed on him and pounded him. He should have stayed on him and pounded him, and the fight would have been over. Let's go to Marcos Villegas. Marcos, what do we think of all that? Ooh, you never know what's going to happen with these heavyweights. One punch can uh, put the other guy down, even though the other guy seems to be in control. I had a Jousto winning all these rounds up until the uh, knockout that happened in the last round. Uh, it gave life to Klausde, who's, uh, you know, could be getting momentum again, like his spirit is invigorated. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, at any given moment, Marcos, thank you very much. It's a hard body shot by Galante, but any moment, every time he gets touched, it looks like he's about to go down. Ajagba has such power in both hands. See, that's why the reason that I gave, you know, you got a guy here, you got to mix up the punches. You can't come back with the same 2-1-2-1-2 two, one, two, one, two, because the guy will know that. Well, that's what you have to do. Vary the attack or do you go for the power shot? And that right hand certainly is his money shot, but then he got caught with a counter. Yeah, the worst so, so, mistake no that the job no made no was no to no walk no away no from a guy that was still on his feet. Yep. Well, that, okay. that's, that's inexperience for you. And, you know, now that will never happen to him again. No. Look at, he has uh, nine of his 11 wins by knockout, and he's used to touching a guy. He goes down, fights over, everything's good. But now he faces a guy who's just a little bit tougher, a little bit more motivated. Haladze said, God, man, I'm standing here. Bring it. And here we are. We're in the fourth round. Good jab there by Ajaka. Just right, misses with no the right hand. No we're in the fourth round. This is a ten-round fight. I mean, do you foresee this thing going? I don't think the judges will get involved. No, only Marcos. The judges will not get involved. <laughs> Marcos this is fight. the only guy who will hear from the, the scorecards. Another hard right hand by Ajaka, but Haladze able to eat it. Yeah, that's happening quite often. Haladze's definitely get in touch with that right hand. Stop the bell, and gentlemen. Stop the bell. Land right on the button if he doesn't watch it. I, I, I still have the image of Thomas right, Taylor standing there saying, I'm sorry, I don't need to get involved. Yeah. Vintage heavyweight action here tonight on Fox. That's F.A. Ajagba with the knockdown. Yago Kaladze done for the night, right? Wait a second, counter right hand. He drops the 11-0 Nigerian, and here we go. The fight continues, scheduled for 10 here in Ontario, California, and we are underway in the fifth round. Brian Kenny with Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, Heidi Andral, Marcos Villegas, all leading up to Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo for the 154-pound title. Let's go back to Heidi Andral. Heidi? Thank you very much, Shadid. What did, adjustments did you want Kalate to make coming into this? Sorry, coming back. He's doing good. You see, he hurt the boy. Throw it right in, left foot. Do it again. That's it. Right in, left foot. Oh, good uppercut. Kalate looks no, wobbled. He's not the monster that they're portraying. He's good, but he's not the monster. Y'all been putting him on his ass. You know, so I want three punches, and he get it. Thanks so much, Shadid. Brian, back to you. Heidi, thank you. It's an interesting perspective. Of course, every time you go to the corner, you think this fight's about to end. And maybe it is. Ajagba still able to touch Kaladze. Kaladze fires a right hand back. A lot of fight in this guy, Joe. You've had him before. A lot of fight in this man. Yeah, I, I trained I trained the Argo for for Oh, oh that's, that's, that's it. Oh. Beautiful right hand by Ajagba. Three. Tom four, Taylor's giving him a chance. Five, There's no six, way he can get back up. He's seven. equally He's already score. on seven. Eight. Eight. You okay? Thomas Taylor asked him to step forward. He did just enough, and the fight continues. No, oh, this is... <laughs> oh, Kaladze with a right hand. His last gasp. He's a, in bad shape, though. Taylor would have been well within his rights to end this fight. But we've said that before. Ajakba moves in. Every shot looks damaging. Well, Ajakba should give himself some room. Not allowed... He goes up to catch him. Kaladze oh. on shaky legs. Very shaky legs. But he is telling Kaladze, you're going to have to put me out. Clearly. Unless Taylor ends it, and then he does. Yeah, that was actually from the corner. Kaladze's corner, and that's a good choice by them. It's time to stop the fight for that guy. I mean, he's wobbled. He's hurt. Sit down. Sit down. something to be said for that. All right, here we go. This is the end of the fight, and there's the towel being waved in, and you're right, Joe. They go to the commission. Commission comes yeah. over and stops it. The first line of defense. We've been saying this now.